Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my good friends NPC and Twingo for yet another Top Gear style challenge in Grand Theft Auto Online. Today we're going to be doing the best car for $500,000 challenge. So each of us are going to go pick a car for under $500,000, go and upgrade it, meet back at the parking lot, and then compete in a series of challenges to see who has picked the best car. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, um, let's 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 take a let's take a little look at the car list here, real time quick. Time to buy. It's time to buy a car. I'm. It is time to buy a car. I'm thinking. I have a, a secret weapon actually for this one. Do you? Oh really? What might that be? But I can't get the trade price, unfortunately. So um, I think I can't use the secret weapon. You cannot Ooh. use the secret weapon, sadly. Yeah, that's f that, that would have won for sure. I'm thinking, yep. I'm thinking either this or this. Five hundred grand. Uh, what for five hundred mm, grand? I think this. I think this just makes more sense though. Ah, uh, the hijack Rustin. <laughs> that car is actually good. That car is actually good. I mean no, that. I swear it's to God. It's swear. I swear to God, it's good. It's so bad. Swear to God. So bad. Let's. let's it's take, so ugly. Let's take this. Okay, I'm thinking this one right here. Man, I'm so conflicted right now. Okay, I bought my car. I wonder if that one. I bought I my car. Well, I'm interested to see if, uh, if we all come up with the same car or not. So I think I well. might be doing something different. All right, guys. Here we are at the auto shop. Let's uh, let's go ahead and hop inside here, and we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start working. Obviously, the reason I'm using the auto shop is because I get a discount in the auto shop compared to a normal price at Los Santos Customs. So we're going to be able to save an ever so slight amount of money uh, by customizing our car here. And it is here. In fact, we have, of course, picked the Infernus for this episode. The Infernus is a great car. It's a supercar. Um, I figured this would be the best option. It's also all wheel drive, but the split is weird. It's like 2080. Uh, so 20% of the power goes to the front wheels and 80% goes to the rear. So anyways, I think it's going to do well for us. Fingers crossed, at least. Um, we have $60,000 to spend here, and I don't exactly know uh, what we're going to buy with that amount of money. So we could go for the engine, $31,000. Um, we could also, of course, go for the turbo for forty-seven five. But that's going to put us at only twelve and a half thousand dollars. So for a spoiler option, it's going to cost us sixty six hundred, and we are going to need that for the additional uh, for the additional traction that we're going to get. Um, so you know, although I actually almost like it better without a spoiler, honestly. But I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna have to see. So we could do we could do engine. The, tr the transmission is thirty eight grand though. It's just it's so expensive. I think we're gonna have to go for the turbo. So let's minus. $47,500 from our price, so we have $12,500 left. These wheels are absolutely heinous, but I don't know what we're gonna be able to get for, for this much money, so we're gonna have to see. Could go for some Mercies, maybe. They're pretty cheap. They're only $5,400. That might be a worthy investment. And then I think we'll still have enough money, if I'm not mistaken, for a spoiler option. So that, that is something we could look into. The spoiler is more about performance though, and I think that performance, like I might lose the looks, the looks uh, challenge anyways, you know what I mean? So maybe I shouldn't go for, let's do, let's do the spoiler first. Let's do the high level spoiler, 6698, minus 6698, so we have $5,802 left. So unless I find some super cheap rims, we might not actually be able to go for rims. Mercies are so cheap though, they're only 5463. That leaves us with like 400 bucks. So do we want to do it? We totally can. They do look better, but it also messes with like the body lines of the car a little bit. So I just don't know. Ah oh man, and we can't even paint them either. I don't know. Maybe we should just go for tint instead. We could go, we could go for a full tint on this thing. And then of course we can still change the color as well, which is important to note. Could go for a light smoke though, and then maybe do something else. What, what other options do we even really have here though? We could do like suspension. It doesn't really make the car look better. It's not going to really help with any sort of performance. And see, I don't really want it to be a fishbowl either. So I think we're just going to have to go limited. Spend 47.50 on it. 
minus 4750, and that leaves us with $1,052, which we could change the plate. So we will do that. And is there anything else I can do? I could change the exhaust. That's the only other thing that I could really do. And in my opinion, it doesn't honestly look better. So that is pretty much all we can do other than the color. Now we could go for my, my new custom crew color, which I think does look good on this car. However, I do think that going for something brighter would be kind of nice. Um, maybe, maybe just like a regular blue in furnace. What do we think about that? Or what about, oh, we could go lime green. Could go lime green. That's another option. Could go for a matte light gray as well. I feel like this car does look really good in this color. You know what, let's do it. And then for the secondary, let's change that to a matte black. I like the look of that. That's that's pretty uh that's pretty nice. And then yeah, I don't know. That's that's pretty much all we can do. Let's uh let's bring the car outside, see it in the light. We have $1,052 to spare. So we're doing pretty okay as far as I'm concerned, actually. So uh, let's go ahead and head back to the airport. This thing's looking pretty mean. I'm not uh I'm not I'm not displeased with it, that's for sure. I would have liked to be able to change those rims, but sadly. That's uh, just not gonna happen. So, is very unfortunate. But uh, the spoiler option was pretty important. The window tint was also pretty important. So, I think uh, I think that we've kind of done the best that we uh, that we could uh, with our situation. So, anyway, we're gonna meet these guys at the airport. See if anyone's there already, and uh, then we're gonna talk about the cars quick and start getting into some of the challenges. All right, so here we are at the airport. Let's see, is anybody actually here yet or no? Ah, Twingo is here in the Turismo. Howdy. Hello. Hello, sir. Well, nice car. Nice car yourself. Thank Tur you. Turismo. Mm-hmm, Turismo R. Wow. It's been a while since I drove this thing. Yeah, 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 totally. What, uh, so, so how, how much money do you have left over? It was the full 500k, so I have nothing. <laughs> nice. No upgrades, no. just change of color. No repairs, no gas, No, nope, I have to be very careful. You won a $500,000 lottery ticket and spent it all on the car. Exactly, and that's what you as, should do. As you should, exactly, mm -hmm. as you should. I have a feeling Aaron has either picked the Masakro or the Jester. It was, I was going to pick the Masakro. It was either that or this one. Yeah, I feel like I feel like he'd go for the Masakra. I think he did go for the Masakra. That's just that's just a hunch that I have because I don't know what else you would go for. Like I mean, or or maybe he went for an Infernus, or or like I said, the Tauros. Maybe he went for the Tauros. I mean, he spent a lot of time in the customs already. I don't think he. I think yeah. he must have gone for the Masakra. Yeah, he must have gone for or the, the, Jester. Or the Jester. Something customizable. Yeah, something with some customization. Yeah. So, Counterclockwise. Yeah, I was right. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <That's awkward. laughs> yeah. We we uh, we were guessing was it gonna be the jester or was it gonna be the massacro? Yeah, why yeah. why do you say this too? Well, because they're the only ones that offer a budget while still having good performance. Well, I, I guess I guess it's time for the first challenge, gentlemen. I uh, yeah. drag race. I have to say I do like all the cars, but uh, it's time to see time to see who's got the fastest car. Alright. Was the I'm actually on one of so those. interested in seeing how this goes because you guys have supercars. We do have supercars, but you yeah, have... is that Infernus considered a supercar? It is, it is. Oh, okay, but NPC has full upgrades. Yeah. And yeah, I, did I, you do full upgrades? What'd I did. I, would, I made oh sure God. I could get full upgrades because last time, none of us had full upgrades, and I, it hurt. It was really? like actually brutal. Oh, I. I don't know, man. I don't know if we're gonna keep up here. I honestly I don't, know. don't. I honestly don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right, boys. Yeah. All right. Time for the drag race. Uh, do you want me to throw I got the grenade? Oh, okay, you here got the go. grenade. Here we go. <gasps> oh my oh, god! Blistering Holy start. <gasps> no, oh, no, no. Oh, please. No, no way. way. Oh my god. I actually am getting so gapped. What? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. No oh, man. way. Oh my goodness. No way. Uh, I think the tourism, I think you were pulling on me there at the end. Barely. I, I, Come I, on. Oh man. No 
This is what 500k gets me. No way. 500k gets you. 500k gets us both gapped by a car that costs like half the price of ours. <laughs> Literally. What man? Wow. Upgrade? I didn't realize upgrades did that much. Because I'm upgrades sure, are. I'm uh, sure uh, if if these cars were all stock, I, that would have been definitely the Turismo winning. All right, so here we are pretty much at the start line of our circuit race. If you're unfamiliar with our circuit, basically we surround the Sandy Shores Lake and we take the off-road section over the top of it, come up around through Grapeseed and then come back down. Yeah, and the first to pass the Sandy Shores sign here is deemed the winner of the circuit race. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Nate is thrown. Hey, oh, yo! Get out of the way. Whoa. Ugh. All right. Blistering start for harm done. Blistering start. Dude, that thing is so fast. Oh what? Oh what? What? Dude. Unreal. I can't believe how fast the massacre is. This is actually like. That's crazy. That's mind blowing. Like, actually. What? You're actually know, just. I'm you're, surprised. you're gone. You're Am actually. Am I pulling on you guys? Oh, you, 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 you have no chance. And now. Oh, now you're coming for me, too. You, oh, no. Oh, no, no, boy. No, 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 no. The Infernus has the launch, but it has nothing else. <laughs> It's got a decent top speed. It does have a decent top speed, and it also actually does have one more trick up its sleeve. Oh goodness! Oh, oh that's a little no. bit of understeer. Oh! All right, we got this Turismo. It's in the bag. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> what is that interference? What is that What's interference? Oh man, I'm gonna pit maneuver you now. Oh, uh, you're not gonna no, catch me. No, man. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Two wheel action. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna catch oh, no. you, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You know better than that. How's that? Uh, how's their rear wheel drive treating you, GTA NPC? Um, not too terribly, actually, since the Masaka is such a heavy vehicle. Mm. Kind of just eating these bumps, good. like in a good way. Good for you. <gasps> Get him. Oh, trust me, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. Is there any? <gasps> not the Bravado Grassley. Oh no, I just not even uh -oh. on my screen. Oh, uh, dude, that is Brutal. actually that is actually. Oh. Dude, rough. you caused a traffic jam. I almost ran into it. Uh, that sucks. I just I just don't think I have any hope of actually catching up to uh, NPC here because his car is just so much faster. I don't think so because that marks the victory for the Masaka. Wow, Damn. dog, you're like 20 seconds ahead, maybe 10. Let's see where they are. Maybe uh, 10. I'd say probably it's closer to 10. Yeah, like 12 seconds or something. And with that being said, that is across the line for harm none. Dang. Oh man, that's super rough. Yeah, I'm almost there. Oh yeah, there's Twingo. Oh sorry, oh. sorry dude, brake stopped. Stopped working. Mm. Beautiful. Well, I guess uh, I guess we need to repair these, and then uh, yeah. we need to get into the looks challenge. That is another three points for me. That is another, another two, two for Harmon. So I'm and a the Turismo, unfortunately. <laughs> another <laughs> one. Bullet. Another one. Literally another one. All right, gentlemen. Well, we're we're all parked up here, and now, of course, it's time for the looks challenge. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and say NPC is the best looking car, definitely. Yeah, I really? guess we're speed running this. It's oh, NPC. Yeah, it's <laughs> you think it's, so? it's 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 I, I absolutely. I, I mean, your your car looks complete. It's it, like it is complete. I hit carbon every option. Carbon skirts, carbon yeah, wings. That one's very nice. Carbon, carbon. Is that an orange or a yellow? This is a bright orange. Bright oh, orange. It's beautiful. It, yeah. looks, it looks nice. I mean, Thank I, you. It's like the wheels I, are incredible. I just red calipers. I just can't lie. It's just it's just such a good looking car. Titanium exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust fits really, <laughs> really nice with the orange. Yeah, it's, that contrast is perfect. Yeah, it looks sick. I actually, you know. I mean, if both of you guys agree on that, then I'm uh, not complaining. Yeah. I, I would have thought otherwise, personally. I think the Masako low-key looks like a fish from the front. 
Oh, it does. But, oh, fish are but, cute, though. Uh, I, I, <laughs> That's I, true. I, a lot of people have them as pets. I just think that your card just looks so... It just looks so good. It's the Masakro. It's the Masakro. Like, it's I don't the know. It's just, it's just the Masakro. So. It's a classic. I used to be a Masakro main back in 2016. Yeah, everyone goes the to Masakro, the Masakro phase. Yeah, the Masakro <laughs> is just... It's, it's just kind of unrivaled in a lot of ways, to be honest. But, of course, the real battle is for second place. Hmm. I, I, will, I gotta say, the Turismar is a very good I, looking car. I, will, I, I was about to say, <laughs> the, the Turismo is a very good looking car. However, it is a fish. Oh. It is a fishbowl right now. Uh, okay. But I understand the constraints of the budget were somewhat limiting for you. The interior is um, very nice looking on it. I definitely want to show it off. Look at those seats, too. Oh yeah, it's Ooh. not bad. Oh, this shares the same interior as the Reaper, I believe it is. Oh, really? Yes, I believe nice. that's right. Or the Zeruso. It's one or the other. I think it's the Reaper, though. Um, the back of this car looks absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially in the sun. I will say the back of the Infernus is one of possibly the ugliest exterior pieces i've ever seen on a vehicle ever you think so i think it looked it looks, much better in gta 4 yeah i think it just looks horrible oh. in this i think it looks so bad however oh, no. what i will say the front of the infernus is very good looking like from from this angle off the front quarter like quarter panel and looking mm -hmm. at the passenger seat it's it's oh, yeah. it's it's a very good looking car very if you could change the back the taillights to match something a little bit closer to yeah. the mercy logo yeah this that's what it's based off right it is yes it yeah. is oh man that would look very nice it would be so nice i wish there's more customization for this car but uh i i think i think you know despite my best efforts i do think that the turismo is just a better looking car so i will i will happily forfeit uh to third place for this uh for the looks challenge Oh, and I'll happily really? accept that. I, Thank yeah, you. I, I, I think, think so. you made the right call. I think so, at least. But I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like you didn't do the car any justice with this color. I think the Infernus personally looks really good in like brighter colors. Yes. Orange, lime green, white, I think are all beautiful looking colors for this vehicle. Um, I personally like the back end of the Infernus. I guess I guess the lights are a little awkward if you like really think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like and like pokeballs yeah they're pokeballs i was just yeah they, to yeah say that. that's actually so funny the bottom one is totally supposed to be a pokeball <laughs> whoever did that at rockstar did a funny did a funny yeah but um i like the i really like the exhaust on the infernus unfortunately as good as i think the infernus looks i do think that it still pales in comparison to the turismo the turismo this is, car. it's just too good looking oh it's just too good looking uh, it, it is it just mm -hmm. is yeah so it looks like five hundred thousand. It, it, yeah. it does it does i i i i almost would give it to the turismo over the massacre but like if literally if you if you if say the turismo was like four hundred and eighty thousand, and you could have put like a spoiler option on this thing or like window tint light smoke the windows or, or yeah. rims or something like if you could have done literally anything to the turismo i think i would have given it to you over the massacre i think i, I could see that. that yeah even with just the spoiler yeah i think i yeah i almost i don't know man i don't know i almost regret saying mm -hmm. the massacre is so good i'd uh, vote for my car in first place <sighs> the majority you gotta say it i think it just looks I don't know, because it's such—it's like triangular, you know. It's like a ramp, and then not having the spoiler on the end. Is but it <laughs> works though. But it works. I don't. I feel know, like it's missing man. something. Ooh. I've never envisioned the Turismo without a spoiler. I think it looks so like naked on the back. I think it looks so good, actually. Like I don't know, man. I might have to switch up. It's here. like a long tail. <laughs> I might have to give it to the Turismo. I might have to Ooh, give it to the Turismo. Really? I know, okay, okay. Of events. I know that's I, I know that's a bit crushing, but I do think it's a better looking car than the Masaka. Just ever so slightly. And you I, know yeah. what? Now that we're talking about it, I think the Infernus is better looking than the Masaka. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. I think you can now that we're little... talking about the Infernus, I just want to mention so. this tilted Infernus badge at the back really doesn't sit right with me. No, it doesn't. I don't like that at yeah, all. There's something messed up about that, but yeah i yeah no the where would you guys place it well flat, flat on the bottom of the grill yeah, flat okay right right like there oh yeah kind of ish yeah. ish okay valid right there yeah 
Valid, valid. Right, right about there. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, no no no. Oh my god, no armor. <laughs> That's what no armor will do. Please, 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 please. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my god. What no. struggle? No. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the destination for the sprint race uh we're not allowed to use mini maps we're not allowed to use waypoints we just simply have to get there as fast as we possibly can and it's at the uh the center of the los santos docks right here so first to get to this point on the map right here is going to be deemed the winner of the sprint race all right all right gentlemen are we are we are we good to go here we go here we go, boys. All right, here we go. Let's let's see. Uh, let's oh, see what we can do. All Everyone's right, taking the uh, the same route so far. <laughs> Very interesting. Indeed. Oh, uh, Indeed. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I. I think following Harmon here is the strat because he uh, plays this game and understands the map. Oh, I should have done that. I sure do. I sure, I sure do that. Interesting, actually. Very interesting that you're going that way. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I was going to follow you, but I now plan on taking a different route. Dude, this is so hard without a minimap. <laughs> I thought there was an exit here. Am I? F no, I have to go all the way around. Oh, boy. Dude, my exit's on another road, like down from me. What? This is going to take a lot longer than I expected. All right. Is no, is that Harmon in front of me? Sure no, is. No, no, no. And no, I'm no, here. No, no, no. I'm here. Oh. No, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. You're both here. You're both here. No. No. Oh. oh. I knew oh, you guys were trolling me. I knew you guys were trolling me. I was like, there's no way they're both like this fing dumb. Like how could they <laughs> how could they both be missing all these exits and all this garbage? Damn it, dude. <laughs> oh man, I felt so confident that I was gonna Oh, I see what I see what happened now. What I, what I, route did you take? I really went like way the fuck around. Yeah, you took the, the super far highway, huh? I did. I was oh. I was trying to take the train tracks all the way here because the train tracks end right uh, right over oh. here. Oh yeah, but, uh, that's true. I was thinking about that too. Taking didn't, the train uh, tracks didn't work. So I have yet oh. to I have yet to win a sprint race. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It's just uh, highly yeah. unfortunate, but uh, that is unfortunate. That, that is how she goes. Um, Very nice. Well, I actually, when I saw you, so NPC won this one. He's got three points added to his eight, which makes it eleven. I think that's the first time we had double digits, isn't it? No, yeah. the Sultan. The Sultan. Oh, he destroyed us. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk about the Sultan. I, about I got the second. Sultan. I got two points. Add that to my five. I get seven. Harm none gets one. He's at six. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Pretty, pretty good. Definitely okay. catch up still. Yeah, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's of course the, the last challenge now, and that is which car is the best value for the money. Yes. It's the Masako. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's definitely the Masako. Yeah. Um, how much money did you have left over? Um. Well, I could have gone with. Uh... Well, you want the short answer or the long answer? Give me the long answer. Okay. Well, I could have had an extra twenty-one grand left over after fully upgrading, like essentially my vehicle. But considering I was going up against supercars, I was a little nervous, and uh, I decided to throw on a race brake so that I could have a better time in the off-road section. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if it entirely helped or if I needed to do that, but that did put me at four hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars, three hundred and ninety. Okay. Oh, close. Okay. Yeah. I, I pushed it as far as I could so that I could get the best performance because I was a little scared. But I could have saved 20 grand without the brakes. Not bad. How much did you spend? I, oh, I'm none. I spent um, 498,948 dollars. What did you upgrade? Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I put the turbo on and I put a spoiler on and I tinted the windows. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was able to do. <laughs> nice. Um, but, you know, 440k for the Inverness, 
not not terrible not terrible it is not terrible mm -hmm. and twingo how much did you spend i went all in it's the whole thing cost 500k interesting so what did you upgrade on your vehicle twingo i changed the color to red and that's it i forgot you had a uh, color changes it was supposed to be a dumb question but oh yeah oh. it slapped um <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, the massacre is the best, the best value for the money. Um, yes, sir. That brings us to fourteen points. Fourteen points. Now it's Crazy. it's time for me to potentially tiebreak Twingo. Um, potentially. I, I I would say that the Infernus is better, but the Turismo is better looking. However. Performance wise, it's iffy. It's a toss up. It depends what you're doing. Because on a drag race, I did I did beat the Turismo. Mm -hmm. And on the circuit, I did also beat the Turismo. But on the sprint, I got beat. However, mm -hmm. that that is probably due to my own fault for taking a very long route. The car is sixty grand cheaper than the Turismo. So I, I make my case for, for second place. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I think I might be honorable and agree with you just because that all-wheel drive and that added turbo does affect the, the performance of it quite a bit. I don't think I could have you in the, in the corners as much with this either. It's just really not that fast. Yeah, I, I think a turbo would suit that thing very nicely, but... Absolutely. I, I, I think that uh, I think that uh, we, we can settle on a tie because we're going to tie if I come in second place this challenge. I, I'd accept that tie. I'd say these are pretty pretty equal under the circumstances. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Let's let's agree to agree. Absolutely. I agree to agree. I agree to agree as well. Awesome. So great. Amazing. That's that's wicked. So um yeah, NPC wins. Let's Whoa. go. Yeah. Sakura is the winner. That thing is crazy good actually. It's actually nuts. Best budget car ever. Holy no, Lord. honestly, honestly, and yeah, so for, underrated. In, in, did you guys think about it? I yeah. did. I did. I, I, I was, really thought I was close. Be, I was close to buying the Masakra, but I was like, "There's no way a Masakra can beat it." In fairness, I was so. wondering, is the Masakra race car a good option to pick as well? It is, or is faster. That just delivery? It is technically oh. faster. Mm. Yeah. Probably not by much, though. I'd imagine not by much. It would barely win a drag race. And um, I don't know if you went with the Masaka race car. I don't think you would have enough for your upgrade. No, no, probably not. So, Good interesting, call. interesting. So, so what are we tied at then? Doing eight, eight points. Mm, eight, each? Eight, yeah, points, eight. eight points each, I think. And then NPC is winning with fourteen. Fourteen points. Very nice. More one off both of max. ours. Yeah, one crazy. off max. That is crazy. That's ridiculous. Well, I wonder if one of these days. Somebody will get a max. There's Somebody will get the max. A triple crown. How many challenges are there? Quintuple crown. Yeah. Quad kill. <laughs> quad kill. <laughs> the squad wipe. Squad do we? Wipe. All right, guys. So Twingo and I have tied. What we're gonna do as a tiebreaker is we're gonna leave a pinned comment down below with Twingo on one comment and Harm None on the other. Like the corresponding comment for who you think had the better car for the corresponding price. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace.